Do you want to know how to boot off an external SSD drive for your 2017 iMac? Stay tuned. So did you get a Fusion Drive for your new iMac? I have a 2017 iMac and I got a Fusion Drive and the problem is, is it's basically a terabyte but it's only got a, a little bit of SSD space in it. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you guys how to boot off an external SSD drive. I got some stuff here and I'm going to show you how easy it is. It takes maybe less than an hour and uh, you can have one terabyte of SSD space super quickly for a fraction of the cost. Okay, let's get into this quickly and uh, I'll show you a couple of things here and then I'm going to show you some stuff on my screen on my actual iMac in a second. Um, I'm in this room and I don't have my iMac in this room, I have it in the other room, but I'll show you there in a second. Long story short though, is what I'm going to do is I actually bought a Samsung, and this is a one terabyte, it's a 860 QVO, 860 QVO. That was only, it was on sale for like 92 bucks um, for a full terabyte of SSD space. And then I actually bought this Mercury Elite Pro Mini from OWC. It's otherworldcomputing.com, it's OWC.com. Basically, the key with the external drive that's gonna basically be married to this SSD drive is it needs at least a USB 3.1 Gen 2, you know, a Thunderbolt port. Um, but it's usually a, a USB 3.1 Gen 2. And the reason that's so exp is so important is because that's a 10 gigabit per second port. You need that fast connection if you're gonna boot your OS off an external SSD drive. So make sure you get, you know, you can use this one. Now I actually have another video really quickly. I'm gonna put it down here. Also, check out my description. I show you how I created this stuff. I married these together and I actually formatted them on the Mac first. So I'll show you, you know, definitely go through that video first. You know, stop here, go through the other video, come back, and then watch the rest of this. Um, but I'm gonna show you basically, after I created this ex ex external SSD drive, does it really make my iMac faster? You know, booting off an ex that uh, internal, uh, you know, basically it's it's the spinning. It's basically a spinning drive, even though it's a Fusion drive. It has about 32 gigabytes of SSD space, and it's got a one terabyte, you know, close to one terabyte uh, spinning drive. The problem with that is once you kind of get so many applications open and it starts using more than that 32 gigs, it becomes really slow. So by doing this, you're actually going to be, um, you know, really all the time using the SSD drive instead of just at various times whenever you know it, you know. When the uh, fusion drive allows you to so I think this is actually gonna be faster but we're gonna check it out but go ahead and watch that video I'll give you the link in the description plus down here and uh, and then after it we'll have a kind of a final word and everything and just see how everything went oh yeah really quickly can you please subscribe to my channel it's gonna help me out I won't beg you anymore thanks all right, so let's get started. Now, what we want to do is, first of all, you be, we're going to assume that you have a fast enough hard drive plugged into your iMac, and it's been actually, um, you know, erased and it's ready to go. I'll link to the video uh, down here. Look at the link down here, and you can see that that's going to be the link. And I'll also put it in the description as well. Um, it's going to be a lot easier to get it in the description. But that's going to be my past video on how I got this drive ready for this and which drive I'm using. But I'm using a one terabyte um, Samsung Evo 860. Um, I'm sorry, 860 QVO, not the EVO but the QVO by Samsung and I'm using an external uh, Mercury Elite Pro mini uh, external uh, enclosure that does USB um, it's USB 3.1 Gen 2 and that Gen 2 is important because that gives it the 10 gigabit bit per second connection between you know the computer and the drive so anyways I'll link those videos in but let's assuming that you have that disk ready and you want to boot off of that what you want to do is you want to go ahead and first of all you want to download Mojave um, and you go, you know, you go basically into the App Store, click on or look for Mac OS Mojave, and then you click Get, and it's going to say you already have it, and are you sure you want to do it, and things like that, because obviously I'm running it in the background here, and the whole purpose of this is to get off the, this, you know, basically the Fusion drive and boot off of this external SSD drive, which should be a little bit faster. So what, you know, obviously I'm still going to go Get, and I'm going to download it, and it's going to say something like up, doing updates and all this stuff, and it's going to finally download it. Once it downloads it, down in the bottom here you're going to get a screen that comes up like this and this screen here let me go ahead and move this to the to the forefront here i'll go ahead and close that out but this screen basically is going to say mac os mojave you know it's ready to set up and install mojave so what you want to do here is you want to click continue you want to agree to this and then you want to click agree now once we get to this screen um, this is the important part you don't want to you know overwrite your existing macintosh hd which is what's out here 
you actually want to obviously install Mojave on that new SSD. So what you do is you want to click on show all disks. It's right here. So click on show and show all disks. And now if you look, I have this SSD that I created and go back to that other video that I have. I'm going to show, you know, you can definitely figure out how, even the same names on that. So watch that video first. But anyways, here's the one I created for this. I'm going to click on that because I don't want to reinstall it on the, on the computer here. <laughs> um, I'm going to install it on the external uh, SSD drive. And then I want to click install. Now it's going to ask for my password and you want to go ahead and type in your basically your administrative name. And then you want to click on add helper. So what's going to happen now is it's going to go ahead and install the uh, you know Mac OS on this uh, SSD one terabyte drive. And we're going to wait through this for a second. And one of the main reasons, again, I'm doing this, and just to be perfectly clear, is obviously I have Mojave out here, right? And this is running on the Fusion drive. But I want it to run off of this SSD drive that's plugged in um, because it's going to be a one terabyte SSD drive. It's a full SSD drive. It's not the Fusion where it only has like 32 gigs of, of SSD space. So in my theory, it's going to run, my, my computer is going to run a lot faster. But I'm going to be able to boot to either the old Mac OS, which is what I'm using right now, or once I get this one ready, I'm going to be able to boot to this one, and I can actually go into the disk utility and uh, tell it basically which one to boot to. Um, and then it'll just continually boot to that one until I change it back. So it's a really uh, kind of an interesting thing, but it's, it's you know one of those things where obviously you can, you can boot to any drive that's connected to it, and that's kind of what we're doing here. So... But first of all, we got to put this Mac OS uh, Mojave onto the SSD drive that's connected to this uh, 2017 iMac. And um, so that's what we're doing right now. It says there's about two minutes left or something like that. And uh, so let's go ahead and wait this out for a second. And then once it's all done, we'll go ahead and, uh, you know, it should be done here. Actually, looks like it got through that really quickly. You can see the speed of the SSD drive. So um, it says your computer will restart automatically in about 21 seconds. And uh, your computer may restart more than once during this installation. So again, you know, here we go. It's going to basically do it automatically for me, and I'm just going to wait this out. But as you can see, if I was doing this on, a, you know, old spinning drive, this could take, you know, an hour. And here we had it basically load Mac OS onto this uh, SSD drive in a matter of just really, what it was, at about a minute or something. All right, now your computer is going to reboot, and just don't don't freak out. It's going to take a long time. It's going to have a lot of black screens and things like that. You're going to get worried about, but it's eventually going to boot. And once it boots, it's going to basically bring you right to this screen coming up here, which is going to be how to set up a new Mac OS. So this now you're setting up a brand new Mac OS on that SSD. So I'm not going to go through how to do this because it's obviously like any other Mac, but go through this process and get your uh, new system set up. All right, so once everything boots up, it's going to basically be booted into your new external SSD drive, and you're going to see your SSD drive in the upper right-hand corner here. So now what we're looking at is we're looking at the OS, and it's basically booted off that external drive you just installed the OS on. Keep in mind a couple different things here. Um, you know, obviously, you still have your other version, which I'll show you in a second. So you can boot back to your internal, um, my Fusion drive, which is internally in here. I just didn't want to open up this iMac, this 2017 iMac. So I'm just booting off this external drive right now, and it's a very fast connection. And if you look up here, if I right click on this, make sure you enable right clicking because initially it won't be enabled uh, and you click get info. It's going to basically come over here. It'll show you right away that, you know, this is the drive that we actually had, you know, this is the external drive and it's basically got one terabyte capacity. It's SSD. So it's telling you everything's running perfectly right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. Now let's, let's do a couple things. I want to show you one thing. If you go down, um, I'm sorry, if you go up to your little Apple icon up here and you go to system preferences, and you go to startup disk right there again um, you know basically you're running off the startup disk here so you can go ahead and restart this system if you want to restart it um, you know or let's say you want to boot back to your uh, internal drive which is the fusion drive which is over here it's grayed out right now I can't click on it so I can only boot to this right now so if I restart my computer it'll just keep rebooting to this external drive but if I want to go back and reboot to that other drive that's internal I have to go down to click this little lock icon here and then it's going to ask for my password I'll type that in I'm not going to do it here but and then it'll light this screen up it'll allow me then to click on this one um, and then I can basically restart it and then what it'll do is it'll then start booting back to the internal drive and it won't boot to the uh, external drive and so you can go back and forth you basically have two iMacs um, you know completely different system sitting in your system on your computer 
Now let's see how this new external SSD performs. And again, I'm using that uh, 860 QVO and uh, you know to that in an external drive. So let's go see how this performs. Now I actually did download a couple applications just to let you know while I you know obviously while I wasn't filming. You know, because I they don't come standard when you when you install the OS really quickly like that. Um, it doesn't have like iMovie, it doesn't have Black Magic things like that. So I basically install those to show you guys how fast this new drive is now. So now since we're running off of this external drive, everything's completely off the external drive. Let's go into um, a couple different things here. Let's go into Black Magic, and Black Magic's going to now show us you know how fast everything's running on this drive. Um, if I click on the little icon here, you know, you know, there's a little uh, gear icon and click select target drive. You always just want to make sure that you're, you know, obviously running off of your, you know, your the drive that we have, which is going to be the external SSD. And it is right now. Um, if I go down in here and I click other location, if I click uh, the Mac HD, that'll be the other one. The It'll basically be, you know, seeing how fast my internal drive is. I don't want to do that. So we just want to make sure it's running off of the external SSD. So I'm guessing it's going to be, you know, four to 500 megabytes on the write and reads because that's about the capacity of this drive I'm using. I'm going to do a video later where I'm doing a way faster drive and see if we can get up to like the thousand uh, megabits per second. But right now that's where I guess is going to be. Let's see what it is. As you can see, it's right on exactly what I thought. It's a flat 471, 472 on the writes. And that's about what we expected with this drive. Um, and then if you look at the reads, you know, we're getting up into the 5. Uh, 12, you know, 513, somewhere in that range. So, you know, again, let's go ahead and see it run again. But basically, it's going to always be in that 470 to 5, you know, something. And that's basically a huge upgrade because basically the, the Fusion Drive would appear faster. If you if you ran the test, it would look like it's running faster. But then again, it wasn't because of the fact it, it basically was just only little small pieces of information it could do f quickly. But now we're running fully off an SSD. All right, that's the first thing. So let's go ahead and just see how fast things can open up here. And, I, and this is going to be a really crude test, but just to show you really quickly, you know, if I want to open up, I, I downloaded, uh, you know, let's start with Safari, click on it. You know, basically one, not even one bump. Um, I'm going to go to Google. You can see, let's go ahead and uh, make this a little bigger so everyone can see it. Um, obviously, this is going to be more dependent on my <laughs> on my search or on, my, on the speed of my internet. So it's basically, uh, let me click no thanks over here. So the speed of the internet is going to ma matter there. But um, obviously, everything's really snappy. Um, let me go ahead. I hate these ads. The ads are kind of screwing everything up. But basically, everything works fine here. So let's go ahead and quit Safari. But it basically took basically one second to open that up. Here's Chrome down here. I'm going to click on Chrome. Boom. Up. So that's really fast. Again, this is pretty fast with the Fusion Drive 2, so it's not the best test right here. Um, you know, ESPN.com, again, it's got kind of a, a little bit lo long load on it because of the fact that my internet's, uh, you know, I'm going off a of wireless, I'm way upstairs. But anyways, you get the idea. It works pretty pretty good. So just a, it, no different really than my Fusion Drive, but I can tell things are a little bit snappier just because it's not struggling with that small little bit of SSD space. So I'm going to go ahead and quit Google Chrome. And I'm quit out of that. So here's uh, down here we have iMovie um, down here. So I'm going to go ahead and click iMovie. Let's go right now. Oops, I missed it. I didn't click it. Let me. Sorry, here I am. Let me click it again. I actually moved it, but I didn't click it. So I'm going to do it on the count of three. One, two, three. So there you go. So basically, you know, that's actually the startup. So if I create something new here um, and I get into here and and then I go back. I'm just going to do test for the project name. Click OK. Now let's go ahead and close out of it. That was actually the, I guess you would call that the intro to iMovie. Let's try it now. So one, two, three. So it's pretty quick. I mean, basically it's opening up, you know, one or two bounces. Um, I would say it's, you know, very quick, obviously, but um, you can compare it to what your iMac does and uh, let me know what you think. Basically, again, you know, everything else is going to open up very fast. Maps are going to be fast. Um, and anything else that you really want to open up is going to be lightning fast. Um, as you can see, I mean, this is not even a test. This is just showing you that the drive is working flawlessly right now. Um, this is more on my internet speed than anything else <laughs> to show you what, what's actually going on. You know, we're done with this project. Everything's running off this external SSD now. Everything's really fast. And so we're going to check some rendering times and compare them and things like that. But I do believe this is faster than the Fusion Drive. And I can use the Fusion Drive anytime I want, boot to it. I have two different systems now of one terabyte. I could even erase the Fusion Drive if I wanted to and use it 
as a backup drive, but I won't do that right now. So, all right. So did you guys even know that was possible? So you can basically do this with any of your iMac, you know, any iMacs that are out there. I mean, I actually have another video with a 2011 I did this on. And then the, there was a big difference there is you needed actually a very specific external SSD because back then they only had Thunderbolt 1 that was, you know, fast enough to do it on. But anything over 2012, iMacs, 2013, 14, 15, 16, 17, you can do this very easily. You may, basically, you just need to get a fast enough external, you know, connection and you need a, a fast SSD drive and you can do this. And you can boot off these, uh, you know, have your entire OS on this external SSD drive. But you can also boot right back to your internal drive if you want. So you don't lose that. You can boot, you basically have two different iMacs at once. And you, even if you had, let's say, two people in your family, you could basically say, you only can boot off that one, you can only boot off that one, and uh, keep people completely separated on the OS level. Um, and now granted, you know, this is an easy way to upgrade without actually opening up the machine. And uh, that's the big problem with this. So when you open up the machine, it's, it, you know, things can break and, and warranties can go. This way you're actually pretty safe. Just follow my other video though, uh, and how to actually get these things connected and ready to go for this video. Um, and also, you know, if you guys can please subscribe to my channel, it's going to help me out. I make, you know, two to three videos a week, trying to get my subscriber count up quite a bit. And, uh, you know, obviously it's been a slow haul, but I'm up to about four, about 400 subscribers. So hopefully I'll get to that thousand mark soon. Um, anyways, thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.